Welcome students to EPG Parshala. The subject is Indian culture and course is Museology. And today's module is Internal and External Security in Museums. My name is Dr. Indrani Bhattacharya, Associate Professor from the Department of Museology, University of Calcutta. In today's world, security is the most important thing in a museum because museum collect those objects in its care. She should, he should give proper care and security to all its collection, not only to its collection, but also to its building, its staffs, and after all, museum should secure utmost security to its visitors or stakeholders. In this module, we will discuss about all the security measures which museum should adopt. The learning objectives of this module is protection of premises then comes protection of collection then comes protection of people then we should understand what is museum security training of security staff or personnel is the other important area in this model. Measures taken against fire incident, theft, robbery, burglary, natural disaster, etc. are discussed in a nutshell in this model. Also this model discusses about the preventive measures from vandalism, terrorism, armed conflicts, etc. Museum security is not only the task of a special security arrangement in a particular museum, but everyone in a museum from its staff to each and every visitor is involved in it. Security is a mechanism that provides protection of collection, equipment, information, personal and physical facilities and prevents undesirable and unauthorized influences that are detrimental to museum collection, personal or the public. There is no standard rules which could be followed or can be said to guarantee maximum production everywhere, any time, under all circumstances. There are many difficulties in museum security. Museum security comprises all measures to be taken to protect museum building, its material, human contains against the danger caused by human factors such as theft, burglary, vandalism, armed conflict, terrorism, etc. Technical failures such as fire incident, water seepage, etc. Natural factors such as biological factors, light, pollution, vermin, etc. are also affect the security in a museum. Accident occurs each and everywhere, so it should not be avoided in case of museum also. And lastly, the natural disaster such as cyclone, tsunami, earthquake, floods, etc. When you discuss about the security staff, 
we should mention that in many small museums, it is particularly impossible to engage special expert security staff because there is the paucity of fund and even in some cases in India, there is only one or two staff run the total function of a museum. So it is not possible to recruit only one staff for the security purpose only. At the same time, it is unfair to burden the director or curator who already has other responsibilities also. Engage any personnel in a museum for the security of its collection, a training is a must. So, during the training of the security personnel, we should uh, we should note that security personnel should need special training. It should be an effective training program and also include all the employees of a museum making security everyone's responsibility. The basic aspects of this training are museum and its function administration and working condition of the institution, plan of the museum building, museum communication methods and procedures, museum public relations, the lacunae seen in the policies, norms and practices should be indicated with suitable recommendations. Security planning should be chalked out properly understanding proper control, vandalism, riots, protest should be included in this program. Bomb threats and bomb responses is the reflection of present day society. So, a museum security personnel uh, should know how to combat it. VIP protection and escort is also a vital area in museum security. Enforcing safety and security laws and regulation and first aid and emergency measures should be included in security measures. We can divide museum security into two different categories. First one is internal security and sex the second one is external security. Now we come to the external security points. Security starts with the construction of the building. Fire retardant paints for painting combustible showcases, doors, windows, etc. Catching delay of fire allow the staff to protect the contents of the showcases. Outside boundaries are very important because it ensures the building to entry everyone or uh, the unauthorized person into a building. In some cases, the perimeter fence is made higher with high pointed iron bolts. Generally, only one or two gates are used as main gate. Flat light in outside areas are also very helpful. Car parking areas should be given special attention and proper lighting should be given in this area. Proper guarding in the main gates and search light in the night is advisable. Electronic card reader systems are replacing rocks in many museums of the world. The use of closed circuit television system in museum is rapidly increasing. It should be professionally planned and properly installed. Here is a photograph of outside boundary of a museum building. Now we come to the point 
internal security, the first important threat is the fire disaster. So we should point out how to protect fire and how to suppress fire incident in a museum. Here we can install some equipment. N number one is thermal detector. When the ambient temperature rises above a certain point, it sets an alarm. This sensor system is mounted on the ceiling in a gallery of a museum. We can use this type of uh, instrument for fire detection. Many museums in India have already been used smoke detector. This smoke detector responds to aerosols during combustion. It can provide the earliest possible warning of any fire, but sometimes it also works in a wrong way and uh, false alarm is also uh, a matter of uh, debate. Photoelectric detector. In some museum, this type of device is already in use. It uses light source which directs a beam into the chamber. The presence of aerosols in the chamber affects light beam in various ways like scattering of light beam etc. Ion chamber also measures concentration of particles by electric current when they are located and the source of ionization is a radioactive agent such as radium or americum 211 etc. The other device is fire extinguishes system. Uh, many museums install this type of device also. The most generally used system is hose pipe water system. The museum should be equipped with fire hoses connected to water distribution system. They should be inspected every two months to make sure that they are not deteriorating. The next one is extinguishing are using carbon dioxide. It extinguishes fire by reducing oxygen content of the air. Carbon dioxide is very harmful for human beings. So precautions should be taken while using, but it is very effective and it leaves no more residues. Helen extinguisher extinguishes fire by inhibiting chemical reaction of fuel and oxygen and thus breaking fire chain. It is very expensive and toxic but it causes no damage to delicate objects but it is not suited to deep-seated or glowing fires in materials like textiles, papers, paintings, etc. Other types of fire extinguishing system include dry chemical extinguisher, it employs pulverized chemical powder. It is effective for surface protection also, but it leaves residues and after the working of this system, this residue should be cleared. Automatic water sprinkler system it is mainly a pipe system containing water under pressure. The water can be re released through sprinklers when it is activated by heat. But the main disadvantage of this system is that 
the risk of water damage is far than the original fire incident. Automatic smoke discharger, it can draw off combustible and toxic gases and smoke and dust can prevent the temperature from rising and decreases the chance of explosions. Portable fire extinguisher is very popular in museums. It is very light in it and they can be used by all museum staffs. I should mention fire fighting robots. Fire fighting robots and the robot rescue is a modern invention which could be used for protecting museum objects from fire. It was first introduced in Japan. It can be tracked a distance from the source of fire. By this method, human beings can also be rescued from a multi-storied building. Here is a photograph of portable fire extinguisher installed in a small museum. The second most important aspect of museum security is the theft. So, we, sh we should draw our attention for the protection against theft. The gallery attendant should thoroughly check all the exhibited objects. At the closing time of the museum, the total museum should be searched thoroughly for people staying back, mainly behind the showcases, open doors and windows. Security guards should be recruited as trainees. During their training, they should be given a theoretical course followed by a practical one. The guards should be physically fit and mentally stable to discharge their duties. Continuous supervision and guarding is necessary for protection against theft. There are many types of electrical and electronic devices which act against the fire incident, theft incident. These include magnetic contact switches, built in wires, piezoelectric glass breaking sensors, vibration detectors, photoelectric detectors, parabolic meter installed in the galleries, remote controlling system, closed circuit television, combination of ordinary locks with electric locks, security cameras, etc. Here is a photograph of paramolic mirrors, though it can be varied. Many museums have door frame metal directors besides the handle ones and it is a uh, just a glimpse of it. Many alarm systems are used for uh, the protection against fire, uh, theft, burglar, etc. Different uh, types of alarm systems are burglar alarm system, infrared alarm system, electronic and electrical alarm system, etc. Mainly, these are suggested to detect the presence of thieves. The choice of the system depends on the size of the museum and the risk involved and the financial resources of a museum. Besides physical security, museum security also includes periphery protection. Emergency response is very important because sometimes museums have to face 
emergency situation, personal safety, art transport protection, visitors friendly environment, building and ground management. In case of theft, the safe rescue of the object is needed than the arrest of the culprit. Sometimes calm and polite behavior is essential and a friendly request to in hand over the stolen object give a better result in case of a theft. When we discuss about the protection against robbery, we can take measures such as we can put our valuable object in bulletproof glass cases. Sometimes strong walls are also used for this purpose. And the most valuable object should not be exhibited close to the entrance or exit. This is the gallery which is a vault in National Museum New Delhi. It is used for the display of gem, jewelries, coins, etc. There are also other problems and when we chalked out some security plan, we have to take measures against it. These are vandalism, demonstration, riots, bomb threats, armed conflict, etc. These are the reflection of the time we live in and the museums too are confronted with them. The management come face to face with the dilemma it is advisable. If accident occurs, it must be possible to administer with first aid immediately and we should not be worried during that period. Every museum should have the necessary first aid kits and staff qualified to perform first aid. In serious cases, a doctor or ambulance or municipal medical service should be called. Disaster is also very vital during this phase and disaster preparedness is other area in which museum should take measures. Actually, disaster is the interaction between a natural or technical agent and a vulnerable community which due to its magnitude creates a disparity between the resources needed to overcome it and the resources available to the community affected. Disaster can strike at any time and emergency planning is of paramount importance. Evacuation is action of clearing premises or a museum building where a fire or other types of emergency has struck is very important. Proper planning and training of museum staffs are the basic to effectively combat disaster. When we are dealing with antiquities and the rare collection of the museums, we should think over the faking of antiquities and we should take measures accordingly. Faking of antiquities is a common phenomenon nowadays. In recent days, many museums have come across faking. In the last decades, faking of art objects and forgeries has increased in India. Scientific study is more imperative in these cases. There are many methods of authentication of artifacts. In case of sculptures, bronze icons, they are iconographic features. 
the style of artifacts is another criteria. The paintings can be categorized through the feature exhibited by the paintings of various types. Radiology is also a fundamental non destructive method of ex examination uh, for the originality of any antiquity. Presently, it is used in the detection of forgeries of original work of art, fingerprinting of art objects and antiquities can be done if some documentation technique could be used, such as microphotography, infrared photography, radiography, etc. Object ID is other important area during this phase of security planning and the internal national standard for describing cultural object by means of a Minimum field checklist which enables the recording of basic information. In case of theft, the information of stolen object will travel across the world rapidly. In 1993, with the initiative of J. Paul Getty Trust, Object ID was developed in collaboration with the International Museum Community, Police, Customs and Insurance Industry. Next step is the safety and security of the museum records and we should take utmost care for that. The important documents are stored in a locking insulated vault shape or file, field reports, tags, notebooks, etc. should be kept in a specially constructed wooden or steel cabinets with shelves. All the CDs, floppy disk, jeep disk should be stored in a media shape or mixed media file. A media box is a small portable container. Accession register, catalogs, etc. are kept in specially made steel cabinet or wooden cabinets with cells with lock and key. The access should be restricted to these areas. Closed circuit television not only ensures protection to this object but it also helps in the protection of imported documents. In the previous module we also mentioned the acts which are mainly help us for the security of our objects and we should uh, note all of this act when we plan any type of external or internal security of a museum. Physical verification of objects and related matters are also very important in museum object in museum. For legal reasons, the museums need to maintain a document to prove the status of object in its collection. Physical verification is nothing but it is the most important episode for security of a museum's collection. In India, the majority of museums are run directly by the central government or by the state government. The policy decisions are taken by the government authorities to political and diplomatic necessities and the very rigidly structured legal instruments. The Government of India has few legal instruments at its disposal. At the end, we should conclude with that. This module gives an outline idea of the internal and external security measures of a museum and according to the necessity, a museum can follow any type of it. 
the installation of expensive gadgets for safeguarding cultural properties has already been started by museum and heritage sites indian museum kolkata national museum new delhi salar jung museum hyderabad already use door frame metal detector handheld detector closed circuit tv National Museum already installed parabolic mirror system, fire extinguishing systems. In some cases, vaults are also used for the protection of gems, jewelry, and other valuable objects. And they are also install other gadgets for the security of their collection. In the important sites like Taj Mahal, Agra, Lal Kila, New Delhi, Agra Fort, etc., we also see strict security measures are already implemented. Despite of all this, it is very difficult to guard and maintain the rich heritage properly. In this module, one can consult about the website for the further studying and enriching the area of the study. The references are also given at the end for using uh, their uh, for, for the answering their queries. They can use do you know. Um, this type of and for preparing for the examination multiple choice question are also given at the end of the module thank you